Okay, uh, life. Let's put the uh, thing to standing. Bye. There we go. Okay. Where did we left off last time? It feels like forever. Let's close that one. And pull up our Trello board. Am I locked in? I am. Let's see. God damn it. Over there. One thing I wanted to definitely change is that we're dropping the tables all the time. Whenever we start, like drop table, and that means, hmm, interesting. Why are we dropping the same table? Wicked repository is where we drop the table, probably. Let's see, um, drop table, and then we are calling it from database manager on initiation. So, let's do that workout exercise. Hmm. Okay, we have default database manager, which should be this one. And when we get that, why are we actually creating it? multiple times. Where do we have this? Let's, let's see. Where do we use that? There we go. Default. Default is fine. Default. Uh, default. I feel like I, I'm initiating it somewhere. Not really. So I'm having it in here, database manager, default, yeah. In here, hmm. I wonder, because it's optional. What if we do, because if we run again, Let's go, let me also go to YouTube so I can see if my stream is actually running and healthy. Where are we? Right here. There we go. Tylek, what's up Martin? Hey, what's up? Mikaela, hey Martin, Susie, hey. Susie's right now taking advantage of me streaming and in our new gym in the basement. AJ, also hey, good morning Martin, I'm finally back after missing the last live stream. Oh, no worries, uh, and welcome back. Michaela, I saw the preview of the app on your story, it's coming together nice, so nicely. Thank you, yes, um, it's working, I used it one or two times already. The only issue that I had was, I always had to add my workouts because I'm dropping the tables whenever I open the app. That was for development, but it was super inconvenient when I actually wanted to use the app, so uh, why I was using the app is because I have another app that I got inspired from, but this app, uh, if I listen to music, whenever it makes a sound that an exercise added and the next one is about to begin, it pauses the music and does not play it afterwards again. And so it means like after every 45 seconds an exercise ended, you have you hear like a beep, you have to end your exercise, which you want, because you don't want to always look at the display. You want also to hear it and just, you know, exercise. But whenever, whenever it beeps, your music that you listen to is paused. And then you have 10 seconds of, of, of pause um, that you don't do an exercise. And then you continue with your an exercise. But the music is still not there at all. You don't want to turn on the music every 45 seconds. So that's why this app comes to rescue so let's see uh, we can make this smaller as I am in the view still where am I here somewhere yes like this and also 
let's put YouTube over here. It's more convenient. Whoops. There we go. Pro pop out. Okay, so when we create it, it's created twice for some reason. I wonder if um if I would do it this way. The computed property, if it's then you know cached. Cached. It's computed once. Come on, manager. Like this. Oh, it has to be var. I don't handled, yeah. I wanted to have it optionally. Take the programmer, hey Martin. Hey, welcome back to the stream. Good to see you. Are we still creating it twice? Uh, wonder why. Oh, because we're doing this one. This is where we create all tables twice, I think. Right? All right. We've got repository. I think we use that here. Are we using it somewhere else just like that? Mm, work out dispatcher, private let. There we go. Uh, work repository. Here, database manager DB. Why would I do that? I think here what I could do is actually say um, database manager workout repository like this right and let's see exactly nothing is throwing so I think this is not even optional yeah so let's say workout repository like this and the same applies to exercise Oh, there we go. Let's see if that will reduce it for once. There we go. Create it once. Are we using it somewhere else still? Let's see. Worker dispatcher. Are we initiating it somewhere else still? I don't. Yes, here. Workout repository. Which is fine, this is where we want it. Okay, what about exercise? It makes sense, it's just listed once. I think that's fine. We just had this little error there in implementation. Working on my new iOS side project while watching yours. Nice, which is it? What new iOS project do you have uh, that you're developing right now? Uh, is it a secret or can you share? I feel most of the, I feel most developers, in, especially in the beginning or the fir first few years, do not realize that the ideas they have that they don't want to share because it's a secret because they fear other people would steal it. Um, they don't realize that usually no one wants to steal an idea because really everybody has an idea and is super is not having time to implement their own idea, let alone. A stranger's idea so even for me if I if I hear like awesome ideas I don't have time to steal it uh, I don't have time and it it's the same for most if not all developers 99% of the time no one has time to take your idea away from you and develop it themselves because everybody has their own ideas for which they themselves don't even have time to develop it so <laughs> to steal your idea you this is basically not happening that's why I stopped not telling my side project. So whenever someone asks about my side project, and that's why even I'm even live streaming all my side projects. It's kind of like even in the beginning, I'm telling you guys, hey, this is our new side project. This is my idea. Let's develop it. So you could even, it's even more easier for you to steal it because you not only like listen to my idea, you can just start right away, and you could even just watch my my live stream basically steal my code. I mean, I. Not saying you should do that. I definitely discourage from stealing code. I definitely encourage to be 
inspired by code and stealing code i mean like of obviously you can definitely like copy and paste all of that i'm uh, not uh, i mean like the whole project right uh one to one whatnot um don't get me wrong uh that's what the live stream is for like inspiring and also sharing how you can certainly uh implement certain architectures and ways of coding all right i digress uh, Jake the programmer, same. <laughs> uh, also working on a side project, mine's a secret lol, but not cause someone will steal it. All right, so for a different reason. Um, yeah, there. I mean, there are people who don't want to share the projects as well because um, they don't want to in the end. They just want to come out of nowhere, bam, here's my project. And I was like, what, when did you do that? And, and I was like, yeah, that was on purpose. I never told you, I never, <laughs> I didn't tell anybody. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at our, we want to have something like, let's add a sound, let's see. We want to add a sound, let's add some workout. Home, workout, save. I also thought about, I already saw it when Susie was using the app. When you open the app, intuitively, you want to tap that, totally fine. You tap on it, you get somewhere, which is the workout screen uh, with your exercises. So from here, we can you can add an exercise, right? Let's say, let's say skips. <clears throat> 10 seconds, uh, let's go for actually 45. So when you save, you see your exercise now intuitively, you want to tap on that. That doesn't go anywhere. And that's kind of counterintuitive. I would see that people would try to, people, Susie would try, and she's probably not the only one, uh, intuitively wants to tap that cell and nothing happens. So like, okay, weird. I mean, I could tap on this one. It looks the same. Why doesn't it behave the same? Um, and so what I thought about is removing the added trailing swipe and making this one, if you tap on it, so you go into edit screen, right? So it makes sense from right to left you go from home workout, from the workout screen, you go to the right, to the detail of the workout, and you can basically edit what's inside, right? You can add or remove what's inside there. It's an edit screen, so to, kind of. And the same for skips, if you tap on it, you could go into here and it's like, oh yeah, I see the details about my exercise now, and edit it from there. That was the thought. Um, and I think, we can just do that right away because it's pretty quick to be achieved. So let's say exercise list VC, I think we called it. Exercise list VC. Uh, Muhammad, hey Martin, hey, welcome to the stream. Now everybody hit the like button. Uh, Michaela, how do you create an action for a bar button item? For some reason I can't use selector funk name. Um, you can. Let's see. Uh, we have this one, right? I have a navigation uh, bar button, basically. So let's go in here and let's see where I have it. Uh, set up navigation right here. And UI bar button item. You have the title, style, target, action. Make sure that your target is the class where you have the action defined and also make sure that the function or action is objective c uh, has the annotation of add objective c in front of it so you need these both things um that sometimes you would run into things into an arrow when you define this function somewhere else in a different class but still say target self which is uh, not the class that implements that function so the target must always be the class that is implementing the function and the function must always have add object to see in front of it. I think that should solve wh whichever error you had, this should solve it. And then uh, obviously you just add it by saying, hey. Um, Karen, does it have the line through it when you are trying to do auto completion? Yes, it's an app for COVID-19 which shows useful precaution stats and graphs of COVID-19 only for India and also a symptom checker. Nice, good. Hey, that's nice. You just have to type it anyways and it will 
still work. I think it is a bug because it's happening to me too. Jake the programmer, I would also sometimes ex experience, that's true, uh, that things are like crossed through and feel like, feel like it's deprecated, but it's not. Uh, okay, so let's go in to the trailing. We have somewhere here, edit action. There we go. Basically what's inside here is what we want to have for select. This is the delegate. So then basically did select row add. What we want to have is based on the index path provided, we want the model, we want to say create and then we want to go in there and push it onto the view controller. Now we can remove the edit action from here. No background, no edit action at all. What do we have? We have, that's the delete action. All right, that sounds good to me, let's see. Tap, go inside. Tap, go inside. Great. And we can swipe to delete. I think that feels way more intuitive. Okay. <laughs> that was a quick fix. Let's see. Mm. All right, let's commit that. Uh, so app doesn't drop tables on start anymore. Tap on exercise for detail view. I think it will be cut off from but let's see, get push, origin, master, done. Faison, good morning, hey. Um, hey Martin, is there any way we can replace closures with something else? What do you mean by something else? Um, because, I mean, you can, you can define a function and just pass in the function instead, which is basically a definition or say, uh, a closure that has a name, right? Closure basically is an anonymous function that ha doesn't have a name. You can do that. You can also define a closure in a variable and then pass in the variable if it's more verbose for you. Mm. So, let's see. Hmm, I have all that. The function is in an, in an extension of the class. It's not firing the function. It's in an extension of the class. Hmm. Is it, is it, um, okay. What error do you have? Is it a view controller? The, func uh, the function where you defined what should happen? the add objective c annotation and the function is that function in a view controller or is it in a custom class of yourself um, like a model or something because sometimes you will have to inherit from ns object to make it possible something easy i guess hmm. Well, sometimes you can, uh, I don't think, I think actually closers, hmm. I'm not sure if it's easier. It depends on how your mind is made, like structured. Um, there, are mo there are at least one more way how you achieve, can achieve the same thing, like with closures, like say the, de the delegate uh, architecture or that at least, at least that one. But I think this might be not as straightforward um, if closures are not as straightforward for you already. 
uh, I would recommend you to really dive into into closures and how they work. It's it's really not that. It, it feels maybe intimidating on the first glance, but it's really not. Uh, it's one of the, say, I would say after function declaration, it's the next step. It's not really like 10 steps, super advanced um, things uh, that you will learn. It's literally kind of the next steps. And Han Kim, good evening, brother. Hey, good evening. And Samuel, combine. <laughs> I don't know if combine would be a better, uh, an easier solution for someone who might already have trouble with closures. It's a custom class that I inherit from UI view control. Okay, that should work. That's where the definition of the bar button item is. Does it see function is an extension of that class? And where do you, okay, that's where you have the definition. So that means this one is in that custom class and you say self and you say selector add action. So basically what you have is a custom class that inherits from your view controller like me. It defined, it's defi defined here and this function, you have that in an extension of that class, right? Let's run it. And I can still add it. So, and that's not the issue. I have the function in the, ex in the extension and that's the function that gets called when the add is hit. For the exercise list which is this one so you must have something else wrong uh, make sure that make sure you don't have any typos sometimes it's really a small thing hmm. no I have that exact thing mine's not working for some reason there's uh, clothes are definitely necessary to learn yeah I agree yeah, unfortunately, most of the times, really, the issue is in front of the PC rather than... Sometimes it's Xcode, but most of the times it's the developer itself, himself. Mm. Which... Which is also good if you start always thinking it's your fault, because then you know, okay, where to start. Uh, and sometimes what helps me is basically really extracting what I want to achieve into a very small scope either in a new project just to do that little thing or um, remove everything like create a new view controller subclass and just put that inside there just that nothing more also you can share your error message share your error message let's see what's what's happening there why it's not working or what's not working um, also what you can do is inside add action you can just uh, write a print statement just to see if it's fired at all, if you don't want to use uh, a breakpoint. I would just try to restart the Xcode and seeing if it if that works. Yeah, sometimes that works. Uh, add sound to button. Let's say we just want to do that. Star Wars, dark mode. Yes, please, just, um... Okay, much better. What is this? Is it different dark mode? Oh, this is based on my system and this is oh no, no, we want always dark mode. Regardless. So we have AV Foundation, a player. Then we have some sound. MP3 or whatever we want to use play hmm okay let's see uh, what can we use for a sound YouTube yeah it doesn't fire at all restarting Xcode now okay let's see uh, sound effect There's some background sound. I don't want that. Where is it? Hmm. 
No. No. God damn it. That has a solid beep. Hmm. Do we have some, oh, I wonder, uh, standard sounds. Do we have some standard sounds? That could be easy. System sound, oh wow, look at this. The most up-to-date list is here. There we go. Seven years ago. Okay, most up-to-date. For the current app I'm working on, I created a messaging feature between users and I want to create push notifications. Have you ever worked with them before? I worked with local push notifications. It's quite straightforward and I think uh, Paul Hudson has um, a pretty easy uh, article tutorial about that. So if you want to, oh, but you probably want to have yeah, when the app is closed, you want to have not push notification whenever you receive something, right? So that's something else. That's then also remote. And no, I haven't worked with that for too long, like two years maybe, or one and a half years. So I cannot necessarily help with that. But it requires, I, as if I recall correctly, it requires for you to sign up on a website somewhere that manages for you the notification stuff. So you basically fire it to that website, the notification you want to send, and that one takes care of sending it to the iPhone because it goes through Apple and Apple takes care that you don't spam your users or something like that. It's kind of, yeah. Um, so let's see, that is, I don't know if it's still up to date. <clears throat> hmm. I want to know whether there's a list somewhere. It's kind of more... This will be the same like having an old file. System sound service. System sound ID, but where do we have it? Do we have a list? Not really. I got it! It was the way I was defining the bar button item. It was just weird because it's from a tutorial I used and it still don't fully understand how it works. I changed it from led to lazy var. You changed it from led to lazy var now and this made it work? Hmm, that's weird. Okay. Let's see, free sound effect. <clears throat> God damn it. Why is this so long in silence just to play almost nothing? Okay, what is this? So welcome to the stream, we're searching sound effects. No coding, we will code, but anybody who joins the stream right now will be like, what are we doing? Yes, exactly. 
All categories, let's see. Bells, yes. Give me some bells. You can also use some explosions. <laughs> Workout completed. Small bells. Let's see, let's see. That's too long. No. I, I'm surprised that I said actually uh, bells and I mean I'm s searching for it and I get actually the categories. Small. But uh, even if it's weird, Mikaela, good that you found out how to make it work. I'm defining everything like Latbin properties for here, like set title. All right, all right, yes, I've seen that. I think Eduardo, Eduard is uh, going for the same way, defining things. It's from a Let's Build That app tutorial. Yeah, I have seen that before, too. Mm. Do we want to use, Unfor unfortunately you won't be able to, to hear what I hear, so it's a uh, silence for you when I listen. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I can use some fun sound effect. Mm, let's see, horror, ghostly, human. Impacts metal hmm. body impacts that sounds games and puzzles. Hmm, this could be something. No, 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 musical science fiction. Oh, yeah, look at this. To really annoy people. Why is it so hard to find good sound design? You also want to have it kind of like... Let's go for YouTube and see Ding sound. Ding sound effect. It's kind of a ding. Hmm. Sound, thing sound. I don't like these. I should have prepared some. Maybe something in inside here is good. Really? Is this coming? I don't hear anything. It goes on and on and nothing. Do we have like a list of things? Oh, without timestamps. Toaster ding, whenever you're finished. God damn it. Uh, workout sounds, sound effect. Let's just go for exactly what we're looking for. 
sounds, Jim White sounds affect all sounds. Let's see. Oh, I don't want these kind of things, work on sound effects. So literally someone is working out. It's not what I'm looking for. Hmm. Hey, this is interesting. These sounds, these sounds. Okay. YouTube MP3 downloader, whatever we get the first. Just convert it, just do it. Do we have a link to download here? We do. God damn it. Nope, that was an advertisement. Don't watch here. There we go. Show and finder. Oh, we cannot trim it from here. Kind of have to do that in. I would say Final Cut. Recommended apps? No, all apps. Let's see, we have Final Cut up here. It's not known if this, well, I know. What I mean by it's not known, I know, it works. I want to cut out one sound and then just use that for... Cannot open files in MP3. What? What? Um, what? Okay. Well then... Okay, what we're gonna do is we're just using... Then just a ding effect. As a placeholder and uh, so we implement that. And then I can replace it with whatever file. I don't have to live stream which file I replace it. We just want to see the code. So let's go with that. Let's go with that. Probably could have also used something here for download. Nope. Okay. Ding sound effect. Got it, and then we have this code right here, tells us how. And then we go in here, and now let's think about where we want to put it, because we have it. Utils is that view. Mm. So let's call it sound assets, asset. sound asset and then conform to string and then let's say ding I would call it ding.mp3 because I think it's so now we can go in here probably you would have to add it here I suppose I don't know just assets no one says you have to add it into assets. Um, da, da, da. Could you please see that? Okay, okay. Shubam! Please upload a video on MySQL PHP Swift. Um, um, I don't think I will 
upload or you work on a project that includes PHP. But certainly MySQL and Swift. I can tell you that for the backend. Uh, even with this project, before we release, I want to implement a backend for that to provide a feature that makes it possible for users to vote on suggest and vote on features, future features. All right. Anyway, uh, also what we want to do is we want to, we have now the sound asset. We also want to have a manager, a sound manager, because that one should be responsible for playing sounds and making sure things are there. So let's see. Let's create a police sound manager like that. What else do we have to do? We need your icon? No, we don't. Okay, struct sound. Sound manager. Shubam! I answered this question this already. Um I don't think I will upload a PHP video. Hey, and welcome to the stream. Um you can be sure that at some point I will build a backend and that will be based on MySQL and Swift. But there won't be any PHP on this channel. Probably not. Uh, there will also not be anything about um, Pascal or whatever, <laughs> C Sharp. It's just so many languages, um, probably also not Java, uh, that I'm working with JavaScript and Swift. And with that, we have a broad framework that we can pick from to use these languages in, for example, from Vue.js to React Native to React.js. Uh, JavaScript is going to happen, definitely for sure, because of web development, right? So let's see, we have a audio player. It's going to be AV audio player, let's see. On audio player, I always, whenever I use a class that I'm just learning about, I always read what's written in here. And if it's too little, I always expand the site and read a little bit more about it. An audio player that provides playback of audio data from a file or memory. All right. If we instantiate, I also always look into what it's possible to do with that. So we can already do initials and returns an audio player for playing a designated sound file. So we could actually already say ding player or we say generic and audio player. And I see, oh, let me see. Why is this guy doing it twice? That doesn't make any sense. See, this is weird. I don't think this code works actually. I don't know why people are mar marking it as the answer, but you're instantiating an audio player here. This is just this instance. Then you, uh, you overwrite the audio player with a new one with a certain file then you prepare it and then you can play it all right so basically that is just to circumvent having it optional I get it it does work so what we could do is really say contents of URL oh I see so it has to be a URL hmm 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 Hmm, this is um, interesting because I know that if I use this instead as a URL, this is going to be optional. Oh yeah, also I have to import foundation for that to have access to that class. Come on. Based string and like this. Run. Oh yeah, right. So this one is an optional. 
Mm. Which means if you want to use it here, sound asset dot ding, you have to force unwrap, but I don't want to do that. So let's see, let's just do I guess this instead. And then return, if not, let us know what happened and then return. Hmm. Nil, else return MV, audio player, contents of URL, ding URL. Can it throw actually? Can it though? I don't think so. Core data, then upload a video on core data. Um, I think at some point this, this could definitely happen. I have worked with core data, I've com compared it with Realm, but uh, I really like SQLite over Realm or even core data because I didn't, this is the first time I use SQLite and kind of built an architecture to use it. I'm not quite sure if that's the most optimal one. I definitely have possibilities to optimize it even more, but I found that core data already is so stringy that I prefer SQLite over core data. And Realm is not for me. Uh, I even read, I mean, it's not what I felt about it, but I even read that Realm, I think it's acquired by MongoDB last year or, or previ previous to that, prior to that, that Realm was developed first when Objective-C was out there and then ported to Swift, but still has a taste of Objective-C when using it. And when I used it the first time, I don't know what Objective-C feels like, but it didn't feel as good. And it also felt a little bit like you're doing, you're doing some magic here, uh, here and there where data, you don't really insert data or update your data in the view, it's getting updated automatically. Mm, and I kind of want the control over, hey, I'm, I'm just wanting to update the database right here, but not necessarily the view that uses that data yet, because um, at this point of time, I don't need that or anything. So, wow, push notifications are complicated. <laughs> Uh, I know Edward messed with notification for like three days. Those were just local notifications. Yeah, I'm trying to configure remote notifications. Yeah, there's definitely a learning uh, curve, but I mean, it's I, you, there, there must be lots of articles out there, I think. Let me see, sound asset, what am I doing? Sound asset, and then we have thing. And Uh, could not get hmm. or actually was nil. Sound asset thing was nil. This can throw. Really? Why? So then let's just do optional again. Kind of does not like it. I kind of do not like it, so let's just do it in here. Like this, and then return audio player. So we definitely, if that doesn't work out, also get a message. So, 
is unused. Oh, really? Card, let's see. Just that. Everything else is fine. Do you have any interesting in learn interest in learning Python in the future? Not really. I don't have any reasons to, because if I can choose, I will choose Swift. But if I have a reason to learn, say, another language, because I'm working for a company, then definitely it could, it could be Python. I would just dive into it right right away with like with any other language. If there is a reason to, I would do that. If there's no reason to, the only reason I have is really if I like it or There you go. So let's go. But if you want to have Python, uh, someone who does Python, then definitely check out, uh, check out Jacob. Jacob, let's see. Jacob. What's his last, last name? Because Jacob Bosky is... I don't know if he names himself like this on YouTube. Yes, this guy. He is into Python. So you will see Python automation and whatnot. If you want to have videos about that, check out this guy. Also on Instagram, there. It all started here. Really did. There we go. Super active, super into Python. I have found an account that has been reposting my Insta photos. Sometimes they tag me, sometimes they don't. Should I just report them or do I ask them either take them down or tag me? Um, so what I do is, I would always say, hey, I appreciate you repost uh, pictures of me, but make sure you're crediting me properly by and then giving them an example how I define a proper credit, which is in the comment section on the very top the tag name of mine because some people would also just hide it in the tag in the hashtags and that's just not crediting that's basically oh i did my due diligence but you did really didn't and no one really sees that this picture was ma made by you so that's what i do and if they don't respond or if they respond depending on that i i then take actions so then okay cool i'll check a, i'll check uh, their pictures also let them know hey update all the pictures that you've done already with the proper credit and then ch I'll check in one, two days. And if he doesn't, then I don't waste any time anymore with that person. I don't want to remind him over and over again. I will just report it, even without letting him, know, letting him know that I'm reporting him because I don't want him to like prepare and change his username and whatnot so he's not findable anymore. Just in a silence in the background, it's like, okay, you're viol violating the guidelines. I don't have time for that. I gave you the chance. Um, it's kind of a win-win if you credit me and I'm creating content for you basically as well. Uh, but if you just want to take and not give back, give back, then it's a pity. But then it is what it is. Okay, let's see. We have a ding sound and I want to play it once uh, the exercise is over. So we have the exercise list. We want the extra running workouts screen. And... What we do is dismiss self is the count. If the count is zero, which basically means hmm. Now whenever we set things, so sound manager. Oh yeah, we have to what am I doing? Sound manager. We only have the audio player. But what we really want to do is, this can be private, we want to play. So, play ding. Mm. I wonder if I should call this specifically workout, something like that. I think I'll keep it like this for now. Mm, should be this we should this be static or do we want to some do something like once we init that we want to oh 
audio player. Oh, this is actually a ding. A designated one. Prepare to play. And then... Not static. Play. And here, we can now say that we have a sound manager, sound manager. With that, we are also preparing the sounds, loading it and preparing it. So when the view is loaded, we have it. And here, once we're setting the next one, basically whenever this one is ending, right? So kickoff is not that, we want the callbacks. Exercise finished. So basically here we want to say audio, how do we, how do we call it? Sound manager, yeah. Play ding. Let's see if that works. I don't know. Also, we want to set this one to just five seconds so we don't wait too long. Skips, start. I didn't hear. Oh, look at this, sound as a thing was nil. Okay, so something is wrong here. It's either this one or this one. <coughs> Let's go with Paul Hudson, because I think boom sound effect, I think. There we go, for resource. Uh, with those two lines, whatever. Where do we put your audio file? Hmm. So let's use that one. Oh, it's force unwrapped too? Why? Ah, uh, why? Mm, let's go here. Let's just put ding in there. We called it ding, right? And it's MP3, right? Is it any? No, it's MP3. You can see that. Maybe, maybe it's because of the name. Let's see, one sec. So let's remove that again. Because I called it MP3. Let's try this one. I found sent Dex on YouTube has an awesome Python tutorial. Oh, there you go. I found an account that has been reposting. Oh yeah, there we go. Or a clever programmer. Thank you for the advice. No worries, you're welcome. A very welc welcome start. And now five, four, three, two, one. I don't hear any sound. Also interesting, it's it's printed twice. So it's printed when I initiate it and it's printed when I, hmm. Oh yeah, because I think I don't know. Are we going twice inside here? No, we just go in here at once, which is right now. Exactly. Okay. That is fine. Keep going. So then, so then, we want to try the Paul Hudson way of things. Copy, pasty. 
So we are getting from the bundle main path uh, our ding. Must be unwrapped the value of type string. Like this. Let's see if that works. Whoa. Yeah, I'm wrapping it because it doesn't find it. Okay, so then let's try and call this mp3. resource of type mp3 let's see if that works is there a memory leak since it's printed twice um i don't i don't know why it's printing twice we can check that Would it not say where to put it? Audio player is popular for reasons it's easy to use. You can stop it whenever you want. You, you can adjust its volume as often as you need. The only trick catch is that you must store your player as a property or other variable that won't get destroyed straight away if you don't. The sound will stop immediately. All right, that's fine. It's part of AV Foundation framework, so you need to import that. That's fine. Uh, playing in our example, blah, blah. With Windows 2 lines instead of display audio file, this time is finding my project using path for resource when creating file URL out of it. In your project, that can make it passed. Okay, but. Okay, let's have a look. What's main path? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Returns the full path name for the resource identifier. What if it's just, you know, in here? It's not in an asset folder, it's just there. You know what I mean? I don't really want to try that, but I think I have no, ch no choice. Let's remove both of them. And let's, where are we at? Where's Finder? I think the reason why we have it played twice is if we look at Sound Manager, if I initiate it here, then I'm saying this one, right? I'm getting it and I say, hey, was nil. And then when I'm playing it, I'm again accessing it, executing that one, and we have again it's nil. So once the once we are starting the exercise right here, it will it will print that, and then once it's ending, it will print that again. So now we have the false and wrap, and that's why it's not working. So let's see, we have downloads. We have ding sound, let's put it into desktop. Mm, let's put it just at the top of our stuff. Right here. Copy items needed, create folders, references, uh, create groups. Uh, just like that. Let's see again. All right, so I must find it, but I didn't hear it. Audio queue internal notifying running exception called. What if? <sighs> hmm. So I didn't hear it. Maybe that is really because of this one being an instance inside the class that be, that's being dismissed. 
So let's just add a pause to ver verify, validate that. We should hear after the skips a beep ding. I mean, I should hear it. Nope, nothing. We don't have that anymore, which will happen now. That's fine, I know the reason to it, but I don't hear the play. Hmm. And I don't know why that is. Hmm. Is that thing thing? It's there right away if I play it. Or maybe not. I don't quite understand memory leaks fully. Ha ha ha. No worries. That's uh, something that would. I don't. Re I don't completely get it either. I mean, I do get it in some points where I can avoid it, but for sure not all the memorable leaks that you can possibly cause uh, it's just something that clicks a little bit later later so for example in the closures where you use weak self i don't quite uh, i would not quite know when you would want to use that mm. i can maybe imagine in a situation where but i'm not quite sure and that's the point uh, else where you use a weak delegate uh, that's kind of kind of clear to me no, not kind of it's definitely clear to me it's kind of obvious what I'm that was the word I was looking for when to use that so why is that not working we have the sound it's loaded I suppose because we don't we are not crashing it says example mp3 and then nil what if we try that if you go here and then say ding dot mp3 of type nil so now it should be prepared and i don't hear anything i don't know if the if, uh, if i would hear anything through the simulator actually let's try it on my phone go all the way up here Let's run the latest version on my phone. Probably already running. There we go. And let's create. Oh, we have already worked out. All right. Let's change this one into five, five seconds. Excuse me. And this one into five seconds as well and that one into five seconds to start nope no sound all righty be the reason let's just see right here super recent article just last year maybe there's a I always like to dig up multiple resources that explain the same thing just to get a feeling of okay multiple ways are possible and then okay, where are the edges of that kind of feature I want to implement. Audio player, whatnot. Okay, link to your button. We have that audio file with extension. Now look at this with extension. This one says URL, not path. That's more convenient even. For resources, so like ding. So we have the URL right away. We don't have to. Well, failed. 
What's wrong? Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, it must be optional. Yep, optional. That's better, if that works. Start. No sound, but we are for sure, for sure, what we can check is our workout down here. We are definitely running into this one, plating. The plating is playing this, so we can put a breakpoint here just to make sure plating is actually executed, fired. So, yes, there we go, but it's not playing it. So then, audio player, yes, based on that, we are play. It's basically the, th the same thing. Can we change to match your file as well? For example, WAV WAV WAV. God damn it. Caught with Chris. Hey. There we go. He shows even where you're located. All right, that's good. I like that. Import that, use that, and then you have drum. You don't even specify have to specify the group that you're creating. You just say that, and then MP3, and then you say path. Const of your L and the R. Sound. For some wrapping it, but this one obviously accepts an option of your L as it seems. So your L would be optional at this point. Uh, the player inside your cash well because we need to be saved to be and be prepared. Playing the sound, okay. It is the same thing that's happening here. So how do you get starting coding? Uh, like this. I was just, I wanted to develop an app and I started to just use one tutorial, just one tutorial to learn how to do in the most minimal way my app which was a table view of hashtags or something like that i learned the tutorial and at the same time i built the app to a certain point um halfway and then i like deleted the whole project i remember that and then i again started my side project based on what i learned and went through the exam project and basically tried, basically applied what i learned right away and from there I only got into one article after another and it got going. Uh, so I'm not stuck in a say tutorial vicious cycle where you always kind of just learn things but you never apply to which most people uh, are feeling like stuck in a tutorial vicious cycle like a cycle of tutorials and they never really apply the things they learn into a side project their own. If it doesn't work, make sure you didn't make a typo. I didn't at the end. You could should code should look like this. Okay. Okay, okay. If anything is wrong, most of the times the reason is in front of the PC. So let's have a look. We say plating. That's for sure. This one. Mm. He's not even preparing the sound, so it just works right away. What we could do is we could say, we could do this, ding audio player. And here we say, 
since this one can apparently accept an optional, we can say do ding audio player equal that catch like this move all of this this one throws and this one is not optional now cash block is unreachable because no errors <coughs> are thrown Return of initialize without initializing also properties. Hmm. Okay. Different approach. Let's just don't do any of that. For now, keep it just super simple and just execute it here. Basically, oh, it doesn't throw. Anyway, audio player. Uh, we don't have any foundation in here. Let's go down here and then say heavy audio player catch just play let's just do that and see if that works minimizing the complexity of the code. No sound. And I'm actually I'm having sound enabled and it's on full volume. But I don't hear anything. And I don't like it. Is it my fault? I mean I have ding in here. And you can play it. And it is ding mp3, d-i-n-g mp3. For resource, that one, I mean, we could even, it's the same thing, we could even define that up here. Hmm. Okay, so we have an issue, which is Swift does not play sound. That's the issue. So let's see what could be the issue causing that one. There's so much wrong with your code that Socratic method breaks down. It will probably be just to just throw it out and show you this one. Okay, we got that. It's old, but it's still applicable, I think. We got this one. We got that. Prepare for no. Hell, look at this. Delegate self. Interesting. And also prepare. Let's also prepare. Let's just say all. Let's also just say. Ah, uh, the delegate object for the audio player. I don't know about why we should be delegate. Uh, let's say running. Let's just have a look at AV audio player delegate. what it does, what it has mm, as a callback. 
audio player did finish playing. Okay, interesting. Begin interruption, player end interruption. Uh, it's called when the audio session has been interrupted while the player was playing. Player will have been paused. Okay. Uh, might come in handy later. Audio player did finish playing. So we can maybe just say audio player did finish playing and then just see if it actually uh, did finish playing flag so we are the delegate and if it plays and we just don't hear the sound this should be fired let's see and start no sound okay stop it and let's also now say prepare. Prepare to play. And tap and start. I don't know about you guys, but I don't I don't hear anything. Still. Mm. And we don't have anything as printed here either. So there's nothing we have to do in the info P list either, I suppose. Let's see what Reddit people are saying. Share instance, set category, playback, error nil. Local session. Huh. What's that? That's something new. Activates or deactivates your app's audio session using the specific options. True. What do we have? Notify others on the activation. Maybe it's optional. I don't know. This is not compatible with expected argument. Okay, I'm sorry. Well then just this one. Okay. Let's just do that. Hmm. I'm just trying and experimenting right now to see if we can get it right. Nope. I mean, no tutorials are mentioning that either. But it was worth trying. TV audio session set category. What is that? Uh, shared instance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. To what to plug it in? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Mm, let's see. Category. Play and record. Playback. The category for play and record with music or other sounds that are central to successful use of for your app. Yes. Category option allow airplay, allow Bluetooth, uh, mix with others. Hey, look at this, mix with others. An option that indicates whether the audio from the session mixes with audio from active sessions and other audio apps. This is definitely what we want at some point. Duck others, an option that reduces the volume of other audio sessions while audio from the session. This is even better. This is what I want. Because the current app that I'm using, or I was using, was actually just, you know, disabling the other sound. I want to just lower the volume from whatever music you're hearing and say ding, next exercise, and then, you know, that's good. That's nice. If it works, but it doesn't. Is AV audio session also having, you know, something like play? Let's start it, let's see. 
No, is it having an audio player? Um, yeah, we're stuck, but I'm not getting frustrated at all. It's just, it's even better because look, there's articles out there that are literally saying five lines of code and it should work. Obviously it's not like, obviously it's not that. So there's a catch somewhere. And as soon as I find out this catch, I'm noting this one down and whenever I have issues implementing something, although I'm following articles or documentations, which should be straight away just working, right? If it's not working, other people must experience the same. And so what I like to do is then write an own article and just say, hey, you do this and this, by the way, make sure, and here comes the catch that I'm having issues with right now. Um, by the way, make sure you have this and that, whatever is needed right now to get it working. Um, oh, Mikael, I say, hey, Sosie, I'm sorry, I just read it. Uh, Dima, hey, welcome. Long time no see, yeah, that's true. Uh, when developing, do you typically use the simulator to test apps or your phone? Simulator, most of the time simulator, super rare, my phone. Just right now, um, for example, for pic taking pictures, yes, or um, audio in case it's not possible with that yeah then I would use the app or uh, the the my my iPhone for the app yeah programmer coder developer and technologist they build something so programmers are like scientists <laughs> kinda kinda scientists you know I'm somewhat of a scientist myself This one. This is a meme. I'm something of a scientist myself. Well, copy items if needed, okay? To make sure everything is in place, file has been added. Select the project to go build the faces tab and under the verify the subgroup, which says copy panel resources. All right, look, there is something that he wants me to check. All right, let's see. So first step in producing the sound and project is to add the sound file. I did that. Could be of any extension such as MP3. We do have that. You can simply drag and drop file in your project directory structure. Make sure to check an option which says copy items if needed. We did that. And remember to make sure everything is is in place after file has been added. Select a project, a project, or select this project. Go to build phases, uh, a project. Oh, of course, build settings, build phases. Here we go. Um, and then see, there we go. We have it tab under and verify the subgroup which says copy bundle resources yes audio file does exist under it it does if audio file is not present you can add it by pressing plus okay now i like this this is even more specific because uh, he might have had this issue where he copied it and was not really present in the project so that's a good catch i'd say Mm, so we have that. He uses that kind of sound. Um, extension. Let's see. Else, everything is the same. Please note that the initialized block repair track has block. That's fine. It's fine. All right. Which may be manually called before making a call to play, but it's not necessary based on my experience. And audio can even be played directly calling play, controlling number of times to play and sound loop. Okay. Okay. So, hmm. Let's go here. Can I make this even smaller? A little bit. Let's close this one. So, not for now, for later. 
we have the let's go in here and just grab that one and let's say file URL just like this guy does so this is basically the file URL or basically the path to it uh, he's trying yeah that's interesting that's super interesting because he is using contents of and he's using your an optional oh file your elf path I see I see okay so that makes sense the why it's accepting optionals URL path string file URL. Hmm. Like so, we got this. So we don't need that one and he says we don't really need that one and we can just play it. Um, let's just say... Could not instantiate... I think... I don't know, instantiate if it's written like that because instance and instantiate cannot instantiate AV audio player like this and in here we can say so that's why current exercise view uh, this is how I achieve I like knowing where I'm printing stuff right else I'm just having it prints and I don't I just see uh, delegate current exercise delegate was not assigned, but I'm not sure where it's printed, so that's why I use self self, and so I know the type. And with that, I know the class where the statement is printed. That's a behind the self self thing here. Now, this one says uh, file URL to ding.mp3. Could not create like so. Alrighty. Where is he using? Oh, he is using this as a. Oh, what if? This could be the issue because it's a local variable. What if we just need it to be global? You know. Let's have it global. It needs to be instantiated that way. So let's just use all of this. Let's put that down here. In the init. At this point, this is given, it's there. In the init. So like so. Um, oh, god damn it! Amazon, stop. Alexa, stop. Let's do it this way. Let's try it this way. Start. I'm sorry guys, we have a sound. What was the issue then? 
I wonder. Oh yeah, maybe because it had to be a global variable, so it's there. And because when the function is finished executing, the local variables are probably just like you know vanished. But you need to have it global. So that's the catch. That's not well written here, is it? It's written here. <laughs> Look at this. Important to note that make sure the instance of AV audio player is not local within the scope. It has to be declared on top of the file scope. That sounds good to me. But that was kind of the case in a, no, it wasn't the case in, was it? In the sound manager? Okay, so we managed to play a sound. Good. So that means when we start a workout, Lol, I always forget to read the important to read parts. Yeah, I didn't do that either. I just skimmed through it. Hmm. Great, awesome. Okay, we have a sound. Um, I will definitely refactor that. Look at this code right here. We want to refactor, refactor that. I want to have it in the sound manager. So we need the sound manager like this here. Let's refactor that really quick. Let's go and then say um, basically that. Hmm. manager instance of it and in here private lat audio player and it's optional so because this is throwing, let's see, we have the ding, right? Which is fire URL. But what if we just say, oh, let's keep it like this first. Sup dude, Harold, Araba. Hey, welcome to the stream. Um, we just managed to play a sound when the work, when exercise is over. So when we hit zero, then you know you have to do the next thing like pause. I think the timing should be better. So it's a little bit, little bit late, but I think it's due to the audio file itself because it's not starting at the very first second. See, it starts somewhere here. So we have kind of a delay of, I don't know how long. I'm still in bed, I cannot sleep. <laughs> All right, hey, um, you know, sometimes I also have to struggle to sleep and then there's this debate in my head. Should I try to fall asleep and like lay around for half an hour or even an hour until I fall asleep? Or should I just do something like you do right now, just stream something or watch something which probably makes me fall asleep in one and a half hour, hours but at least I can do something during that time. So it's like a trade-off. Hmm. Do you want to do one hour nothing and fall asleep in one hour? Or do I want to do something but fall asleep in one and a half hours? Right? Because whatever you do, it will keep you more like awake than actually trying to fall asleep. So return to the without initializing all properties. Um, because of that, it has to be more... Mm. And here we can now say funk play ding audio player play. But I do want to say audio player prepare. Prepares the audio player for playback by preloading its buffers. Maybe we are using up more memory with that. 
<clears throat> because we're loading the file already into memory prepared to be played but it should be quicker than for or smoother so for, for say, say slower devices I suppose all right we have that sound manager let's see if that works sound manager and let's use down here this should not work anymore exactly unresolved sound manager What is it? Oh, redeclaration. Re Whoops. Plating. <coughs> Let's see if we were able to abstract away from our class here into an own manager, the handling of sound. So I really like to have, you know, separation of concerns there. Yes, it works. So it still works, that's great. So we got that, now I want to go one step further. I want to use, instead of, you know, bundle path, I want to use bundle main URL for resource. And let's say ding with extension mp3, like that. And really use this one instead. like so after if oh i'm missing this one whoops so we have one thing less <clears throat> now if that still works like step by step seeing if one change does not affect our working state okay stop it that's great now what we can do is we can abstract this one away into sound asset which we already did so we use that one sound asset ding <coughs> so that's that all right now what we can try is what happens i mean this will work what happens if i play music and let's play music and let's play some let's run this app and see if it will pause the music imagine we are working out and listening to music Oh, it's stopping the music for the workout even. Okay, so let's see if this one will help. I don't know, it could, it, this one could help. So once again, let's play some music. There we go. But it's, I think it's dimmed already. At least it runs in parallel. So that's good. I just wonder if, you know, um, That one should actually be a setting. Gotta head out. Good luck, Martin. Mikaela, thank you. Yes. Uh, and um, I think good night, right? It's late for you. Or is it morning? I don't know. It's late. It's, I think you're in the States too. But a few hours apart. Maybe. Anyway, thanks for joining and good night and um, have fun as soon as you work on your app again. I wonder if I uh, prepare the sound, night lol, almost 12. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, definitely time to go to bed. Oh yeah, Susie is back here, but she doesn't hear me. She has headphones on. 
So let's play the song again. Yeah, there we go. It's dimmed only during... That's what I wanted. This is great. Uh, we don't need that then. Abdul, hello, hey. Um, <laughs> better late than uh, never. Stop sniffing the treats. Uh, but we are at the end of the stream actually because uh, oh yeah, I also want to try whether it works in the simulator. Let's try that one first because we just finished it a ticket We just finished a ticket Am I still live? I'm not live. I'm still live. Okay, great So Let's start. Let's see One Yeah, I do hear it great so it works in a simulator as well so I can stick with the simulator now the ticket is at a sound. What's doing is done. Whoo! So there are a few more. Let's see. We want to. What is that? Reminder. Okay. I want to implement that one for version one two as well. For that we need the tab bar. It's just required. Um. So we have that, we have, oh yeah, what we need is add mob. Do we need advertisement banner? Actually for version one, I don't think we need it. Nope. So that's our, that's our version one feature list. I gotta head out. Have a good night, Martin Jake. Have a good night too. Uh, we're at the end anyway, so thanks for joining again and thanks for sticking around and commenting stuff. I appreciate it. I always appreciate the conversation with you guys. Mm, cool. So next time we're gonna delete the workout and have a check and we might add the App Store review request into it. Then we have some more things, but we are heading to the end of the app's implementation and then releasing it so yeah let's just add end it here again thanks so much for joining the stream i enjoyed it we made progress we figured something out and i uh, see you in the next stream hopefully tomorrow if not i will let you know on instagram good night good day <laughs>